ways from from our design as a human being and God came to this earth to die on the cross for our sins. Philippians 2.8, the Word of God reads. Before I read the Word of God, I'm going to say a prayer. And I just thank my brother up here and I thank each and every single one of you guys for the opportunity to speak this morning on this special day. It's always an honor and a privilege to share the Word of God. It's always an honor and a privilege to 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 be a part of what God is doing and and this this uh, the invitation that was given to me uh, I don't count it lightly I count it a privilege and I thank God for that also I thank God for being able to be here standing before you this morning sharing whatever God laid on my heart since since this morning or since last night or throughout the week I've been pondering on this word right here and I just thank God for that. I thank God for His grace. I thank God for His mercy. I thank God for shedding His His blood on the cross for my sins, for your sins. And He is the reason why we are able to be here this day, this morning. We can open up in a word of prayer. Lord Jesus, I give you praise and I glorify your mighty name this morning. I thank you, my Lord God, for your faithfulness and for your grace and your mercy, for your love and your kindness, for all that you are, for all that you do. God, I pray, my Lord, that you will, my Lord, penetrate our hearts this morning. God, I pray that you will help us, my Lord, my Father. Give us more understanding on what you did for us, my Lord, in our walk with you and our relationship with you, God. I pray that you will move, my Lord, my Father. Holy Spirit, move in this place. Revive us, bring replenishment to our to our souls, oh God, as you replenished us with the with the food that you provided, oh God. God, I pray, my Lord, that you will help us, my Lord, to love you more. Lord, I pray that you will help us, my Lord, to shine, to be the light of this earth, oh God, to be the, the salt of this world, my Lord. I pray, my God, that you will help us, my Lord, to stand boldly, my Lord, and to share your love, my Lord, my Father, to those that are out there and are lost. I pray that you will be with our loved ones that are... And I pray, my Lord, that you will touch their lives, oh God. Continue to keep your hand upon them. Lord, I pray that your protection and your favor be upon them and us, my God. As we, my Lord, push forward, my Lord, my Father, to see your kingdom come, oh God. God, I pray that your will be done also, my Lord, my Father, oh God, in our lives, my Lord. I pray, my God, that you will lift us up, oh God, that you will... Lift up your people. You be glorified, my Lord. We give you praise. We glorify your mighty name, Jesus. In, name, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Philippians chapter 2, verse 8. The word of God reads, And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on the cross. Here the word of God uh, talks about Jesus saying that when when he, he was being found in appearance of a man, as a man, Jesus, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the God of gods, the, the, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, the creator of heaven and earth himself came into human form into his, as, a, as a man to, to come to this earth. God himself came to this earth to die on the cross for our sins. And he came to this earth to show and display himself so that we can have a relationship with him. He humbled himself, it says right here, by becoming obedient to death, even death on the cross. I thank God for dying on the cross for my sins when I was lost out there, when I was struggling with alcoholism, when I was struggling with drug addiction, and I was being... And I was, I was a, a violent man and God changed me from the inside out. When I accepted Jesus Christ into my life, He changed me. And He's given me a new, a new path in life. He's shown me His love by, by displaying the same love that He did for us. As we celebrate this Friday, it says that we call this day a Good Friday because Jesus went to the cross for our sins whenever he came went to the cross for our sins he died and he shed his blood for our lives so that we can have a relationship with him 
I thank God for, for having a relationship with him, for dying on the cross for my sins, for dying on the cross for, for the world's sins. I thank God for that I'm able to, to be able to be changed and to be washed and to be able to have fellowship with the almighty God that I know loves me and I love the Lord. I thank God for all that he's done for my life and I thank God for, for what he's about to do and he's going to do in this earth in this coming days and what he's doing right now as we speak. And I thank God for all of that. I thank God for that for what he's done and what he's spoken to me and I just love the way the way this scripture reads and how he became a humble human being the, the king of kings and lord of lords and he died on the cross for our sins so that we can have a relationship with him and above that we're, we're able to share the benefits of being able to go to heaven and to worship him for, the, in, for eternity where we're able to have the benefits of the holy spirit coming into our lives and changing us and giving us that that peace that, that says in the word of God that, sur that sur person surpasses understanding, our understanding, that joy, that inner joy that, that, that God gives us and, and that, that that special that feeling, you know, that, that overcome, that victory that he's given us because of the victory that he's had on the cross. Whenever he died on the cross for our sins, that the devil thought he had it, he had victory, but Little did he know that was just the beginning of what God was going to begin to do. And what Jesus did, did on the cross was a complete, completeness. And when he rose from the grave, he was able to, 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 to save his, the human, human race from, from, from hell, fire, and the grave. And that's all I have for you, my brothers and sisters.